Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 132 and today we are going to look at uh, you know how to turn the animation on and off on your page globally right so there's a special syntax called as dollar fx dot off which is pretty straightforward it is like it is telling you the do you want to turn off the animation if you say true that means all the animation onto your entire page will be down right so none of the animation will occur so that is what I have done here what I have I've done is I've created a page where uh, once the page lands you know I'm turning off all the animation so off I'm saying true and now if I try to do some animation which you know that you know it used to work it used to uh, grow gradually but it's now not gonna happen it will simply gonna pop out right onto the screen so there's no animation right so that's a problem so what just happened right so uh, let's look at the marker first so I'm gonna show you there are three buttons alright uh, first one which is doing the animation the second one is start and stop button which is gonna control the animation part uh, like you know which needs to be controlled globally right next is I have a div element which has a class custom so you can see height width and background color as gold so this is my div here okay and now let's look at what I've done on the start and what I've done on the stop <clears throat> so uh, if I look at the button click off start and if I look at the function dollar fx dot off so basically it is telling me do you want me to turn off the animation so I'm saying false no I want the animation to be on so this is the code on start and the opposite on the stop it is telling me uh, fx dot off do you want to turn off the animation so I'm saying yes on stop and the same code I have written at when the document loads right because what I wanted wanted was when the document loads I don't want any animation to be there I want some sort of uh, you know point of trigger which will turn on the engine and then I'll do the animation so you're getting my point right and one key note thing to notice here that let's say I have started the animation right now and I'm animating now so during this process if I go and I hit the stop animation button so it's not gonna work why because at present the animation is going on so you need to make sure that that none of the animations are going right now and then you turn and off the animation otherwise you're not gonna get the effect right so I hope uh, this video helps uh, to understand uh, it was I mean pretty basic you know these flags which can control the animation you know over globally you know so this is pretty basic right nothing fancy so up next we're gonna start uh, looking at uh, the animation firing rate so far what we have seen is like uh, how long you can prolong the animation I mean how longer the animation you want to see but now we're gonna look at the smoothness of the animation right so let me refresh start the animation so you can see right now you know the animation in and out is pretty smooth right now this is happening because because of some uh, certain property you know so now in the next video I'm going to show you like you know how you can manipulate that and why do you want to manipulate that right so I hope to see you there so once again thank you for your time on this and thank you for listening to me